Hey friends, this is Kathy, and you are watching Kathy at Home. Woo, don't let me scare you. I thought I'd do something a little different and do a get ready with me. So I'm gonna share with you some of my products that I like to use. Um, I'm not a big uh, expensive makeup girl. I go to the drugstore or to Walmart to get my makeup. It's very seldom I go to Ulta or any of the department stores to get makeup. I just am not gonna spend that kind of money on it and and I just don't think there's that big of a difference. So anyhow, um, let's get ready. You ready? I'm ready. Don't be scared. Okay, so uh, the first thing that I did is I took some of this CeraVe or CeraVe <laughs> daily moisturizing lotion and I put that on my face. And so this is uh, not real expensive. Um, got it at Walmart, I believe. Just, I don't remember the price, but it, it's not really expensive. And I just use a little smidge every day and it's enough for my whole face. So this is gonna last me a long time. You can get a bigger container, but this is gonna last a long time. And then this stuff I love. I, um, I You can get this at Walmart, at the drugstore or on Amazon. And it's the Gold Bond Neck and Chest Firming Cream. And I've tried a bunch of different firming creams, of course, you know, I've got to reach the point because of heredity. This this hap this chicken neck thing happens to everybody in our family. So <laughs> this uh, is really good though. And again, it's not a ridiculous amount of money that you're putting into it, but it works really well. So I've done that already so far. The next thing that I'm gonna do is apply some foundation. And this is the Infallible. Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation. And I just use a light color. This is a ivory, classic ivory. So I'm gonna put some of that on. And I'm not a big brush person, applicator person. I just kind of do it old school. Just try not to tug on your skin too much. I've got my mirror nearby in case I can't see in my phone here, guys. And we'll just get that in pretty good. A little on my eyelids. Okay, so um, after I've done that, foundation, and I, I don't like it real heavy, so you know, I'm just doing a daytime makeup. And even if I was going somewhere fancy, I, I probably wouldn't put a whole lot more on than that. But then I've got, oh sorry, this is the Infallible Full Wear Plus Kuhn, I don't know what that is, Corrector. Okay, I guess that's French, because it's, okay, more than concealer. Sorry, didn't take French in high school or college. I took German. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. I've got some broken capillaries around my nose. I'll put a little bit around that. And just blend that in. You makeup people that are serious about your makeup. You may be crazy that I apply this with my fingers, but it just goes on so much better for me. And that's how I've been doing it for years and years and years. I've tried a lot of under eye stuff. I would love to get rid of the puffiness around my eyes. Um, I think that's just going to be a matter of, 
you know, eating good, drinking lots of good water, exercising, get rid of the puffiness all throughout my body. I think that's gonna be the main thing. Okay, all right, so there's the, the start. Look like a ghost, boom. All right, next step, I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder, and I like this L'Oreal True Match. You can see this one is almost gone, and um, it's a blendable powder, and it comes with the little applicator. Um, the color that I am using, if I can see it, is, oh, I can't even, oh, sorry, Soft Ivory. Most everything I get is sort of an ivory because I'm, I'm fairly pale. And I don't want that dark face, light neck thing going on. I, don't, I think that screams old lady more than anything. I got enough old lady stuff going on with that back. And I just, I just apply a little bit, just kind of give a nice smooth finish. Okie dokie. And the next step is the L'Oreal True Match Blush. I, you know, I in the winter I might use a little darker color. This one's fairly light. This is Baby Blossom. Not Baby Bottom, Baby Blossom. And it's just a, a nice little pink. I, um, I don't want a dark blush for summer. Just a little bit of color. And, you know, I've kind of got these permanent indentations on my face from my CPAP machine. Can anybody out there relate? Ooh, can't sleep without it. Got sleep apnea, y'all. And uh, they're not too bad today. But anyway, don't need too much blush because I've got already got some contouring going on from the CPAP. The next thing, now I'm just weird, but I like to go ahead and put my lipstick on. My lips, but at this point, they're feeling kind of dry. So, oh, sorry, this is a Revlon lipstick. Pardon me. Let's try that again. Revlon lipstick. And this color is called Blushed. I like a light mauve. Um, I don't want a real dark lipstick. I mean, I was blessed with, you know, ample lips. They're not little skinny ones, so. Um, and the thing about getting ready with me is that I take a shower and wash my hair and do my hair and my makeup every single day. I have done that my entire adult life ever since, I guess I was in junior high. And um, even though I'm retired, and I might not be doing one thing except just fooling around the house, um, I get ready every morning. So that is a part of my daily routine and I do it for me, it makes me feel better. And so um, I encourage you that if you're not one of those people that get up and get ready and make yourself feel good, try it sometime because it really does make a difference. Um, and then, you know, I'm not feeling so, so scruffy all day long. So anyhow, let's go on to the next part. So the next thing I'm gonna do are my eyebrows. And since I have gotten older and gone through menopause, you know, I never had real thick eyebrows to begin with, but I mean, I literally have hardly any eyebrows and I do not pluck them. They, I just don't have many left anymore. So um, I gotta have some help with that because I think that really does make a difference in your face. Um, this is an e.l.f. Uh, brow powder. It's um, It's got two colors of the powder. 
I'm sorry, three colors of the powder and then the little setting stuff if you wanna use that. I'm not real big on that, so. Um, I like a light brow. I don't like a dark brow. I think that's too harsh, uh, especially if you're, you know, sort of a light complected person like me. So I use the lightest color and I have struggled with all kinds of eyebrow enhancers as far as pencils, um, liquids, and uh, to me, this just is the most natural looking. Sorry guys, I gotta see what I'm doing here. define this area. Okay, not much eyebrow there. I'm going to build this up a little bit. And you know, if I was going out on the town or whatever, which <laughs> I don't know when that happens, uh, I'd probably want to, you know, make them a little, try to make them more dramatic, a little thicker. Since this is just a daytime look, I'm just going to Walmart today. Um, I'm not gonna do too dramatic here. And of course, if your eyebrows are like my eyebrows, one eyebrow is a little different than the other. And uh, to try to make a match. That's my goal. I know that um, for a long time now, the very thick looking eyebrow is really in. Uh, my daughters have beautiful eyebrows and they know how to do this a lot better than their mom. I just don't wanna look washed out. Check my mirror here. Mm, I need to do just a little bit more. Trust me, friends, doing it on your phone, you just can't see as well. feed them. So now we're gonna do some shadow and I might do a light liner and some mascara uh, but I thought I'd show you some of the palettes that I've got. Um, Maybelline. This is one of my favorites and I can't find it anymore. It's the Lemonade Craze and you can see I have used that bad boy up. I like that one and I tried this one but um, the sparkly things, uh, it's got like, it's a NYX Ultimate Edit Petite Palette. Um, but I like the little sparkly things sometimes, but it seems like those are so big, they get in my eyes. So, I don't know about that. Oh, and this one just broke. That makes me sad. Um, this one I just recently bought. You see, I've got one that's broken. This is L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted. But my daughter was telling me that um, a lot of these shadows have talc in them. And so you may want to check and see if yours have talc because that is not healthy for you if you're using a palette that has talc. So, anywho. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the lighter color that are in this L'Oreal palette. And I'm just gonna mix the lightest color with the next color, which is sort of a creamy color. And 
um, I'm applying it just with a little sponge applicator. I buy the sponge applicator so that I can throw them away after I use them because, you know, bacteria and stuff. So this is the applicators that I bought. I don't, they don't really have a name on them, um, but I just got them on Amazon and they, they are lasting me forever, even if I use one a day. So. to start off with a little bit lighter color and then depending on what I'm doing where I'm going you know I can make it more dramatic if I want just kind of smooths it out a little bit. I find that the older I get, you know, you have a tendency to put more makeup on, to try to hide things or camouflage things. And I just think it backfires. Less is more. And so that's, that's how I'm going with it. Now this has kind of a little sparkly part palette to it. And I like to put just a little bit right there. For my Walmart makeup. For my Walmart visit makeup. And my husband and I are gonna go today together. So this is a date. <laughs> That's what happens when you've been married almost 38 years, guys. Ukai. Now, I'm going to get a little bit darker here and just do a little contouring. Not much. Just a little. Check my other mirror and see if I look scary. And I'm no makeup artist. Like I said, my daughters are so much more proficient at this than I am. At least with the eye makeup. Now, I, uh, my, I don't have a lot of eyelashes, like my eyebrows since I've gotten older. I never have had a lot of eye eyelashes, um, but, I just cannot wear false eyelashes. I've never done extensions. I'm just not high maintenance like that. And uh, I think they're beautiful and everything. Uh, one reason is because I don't wear contacts anymore because I got to wear when we were bifocals and everything, I couldn't see. So um, I wear my glasses and eyelashes and my glasses, they just don't, they don't mix. So I've kind of, Given up on that. So I don't worry about if I have the longest lashes. I'll put some mascara on. But what I do like is to do some liner. And if you've got a liner that you really like, please drop me a comment because I've tried liquid liners. Liquid liners seem to do better, but this week I bought, I bought something new and it is a Maybelline Master Precise Skinny uh, Gel Pencil. Looks like that. Then when you open it, it's just got a little skinny top to it. So I'm going to look in my mirror because I can't see that far to do this. And then when I'm finished, I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. So here is the, the eyeliner that I did. And that was just the, the little gel pencil. Um, if I wanted a little bit thicker of an eyeliner, which I like, I like the way that looks. I only start, I start about right just past the center of my eyelid and I go out. Um, I look like a raccoon if I do it underneath 
you know, some of you may be more adept at uh, putting on makeup than I am and you may be better at it. But every time I try it, it just looks like my eyes are, you know, just too heavy or something. And so, the next thing I'm going to do is a little mascara. Um, I do change up my mascara fairly frequently. And so I bought some new mascara this week. It is CoverGirl Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Waterproof Water Resistant Mascara. And so I've only really just used it like one day. So let's get a little bit of that off of there so it's not so thick. And, um, you know, I've always had a thing about, I don't want to have a raccoon eye. <laughs> there was this girl when I was in middle school and she used to do so much eye makeup that we called her raccoon eyes. And so I just have had an aversion to that for a long time. Um, I do wear more eye makeup than I used to because it used to be that I didn't need it. <laughs> but again, you know, there's delicate balance as you get older. Of course, your skin changes, and when you go through menopause, your skin changes because of the difference in your hormone levels. Um, and I don't do my bottom lashes. I just... It just doesn't work for me. I don't like the way it looks on me. Other people look beautiful, but on me, it just looks too overdone. And I've always loved makeup. I've always been a makeup girl, but I have uh, never wanted to, you know, overdo it. My goal is to just enhance enough, you know, that I feel good about myself. I am definitely not a, not a makeup artist, just a everyday girl doing her makeup. I do like this mascara though. And again, you know, I'm not I'm not somebody that goes out and buys really expensive stuff. I've always done well with just the drugstore brands. And then, you know, I've read different reports and consumer reports and things and I just haven't found anything that I've been completely impressed with. And when makeup at a department store costs hundreds of dollars, it's, you know, kind of ridiculous. So, I think this is it for today. Um, next, I'm going to do my hair. So, hang on, guys. Okay, y'all, let's talk hair. Um, I do get my hair colored and highlighted. And it's been about two weeks since I had it done and cut. So, um... It's just about where I want it to be. At, you know, it takes a couple of weeks after you get it done. Um, when um, I don't wash it with shampoo every day, but I do rinse it and I do put conditioner in it every single day. And what I've been using is this Nexus Color Assure conditioner and I really, really like it. Um, you can get this, um, you know, at probably Ulta and places like that. I get mine at Walmart or you can get it on Amazon. And um, I like the shampoo that goes with it. I usually shampoo about once every week, week and a half. And then every day I rinse out, cause I do hairspray, so I rinse it out and then I apply this conditioner. And this has helped to keep my color in pretty good without it getting real brassy. So I really like this Nexus. Um, it's, you know, this was about, at Walmart, I'm thinking it was about $16.99. I just use a little smidge. You don't need a lot to, you know, unless your hair is really long. And so this is gonna last me for months and months. So, you know, it's a little bit more than what I usually would like to pay for a conditioner and shampoo, but it lasts forever. And then uh, I have been using, um, before I dry my hair, I put in this 
it's a 10. And this is the Express Miracle Silk Smoothing Balm. And it's just a clear gel. And I run, I just put it in my hands, rub my hands together, run it through all of my hair, work it through, and then I comb my hair out, so. And then I always use my little pick to comb my hair with. And I've done that for a million years. And then the last product that I love is this John Frieda Frizzies hairspray. Um, now, if you don't like your hair to be hairspray feeling, you may not like this, but this holds fabulously well. And it's for, it's a moisture barrier. So if you, like for instance, we live in the South and there's a lot of humidity and it does, it wreaks havoc with my hair. I always tell my husband when we went on vacation, we went through Arizona, my hair was so happy in Arizona, it loved it. But here, I gotta have this or, my hair is just gonna, I'm gonna fix it and it's just gonna go like that. So those are the products that I like to use. And now we're gonna dry my hair. Um, I use to dry my hair, always, always for years and years, just these little dryer brushes. And I've got several different kinds. This one, I think, I don't even, I think it's a Revlon. Uh, I have used it so much. Yeah, I've worn the name off of it. I've also got, another one um and let's see who made this one this is jenry paris professional um so that's a little bit different one but um i like the one that has the barrel that's metal because what i do is when i dry my hair i'm rolling it at the same time that i'm drying it and so i don't have to dry it and then roll it then that's gonna be my goal. So here we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like. 
after I've dried it. And you can see, you know, I've kind of got the curls in it that I want, and this is what I do. And then I do this to blend it all in and pull that down a little bit. I have worn my hair like this for quite a while, some variation of this. Um, then the thing I do is I get the mirror and I check the back and then I can spray it with hairspray. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, friends, here's the finished product. <laughs> Ready to go to Walmart. I hope that you've enjoyed this video today. It was my first beauty video in a while. So, um, hope you're having a great day. I hope life's treating you good. And thank you so much for watching till the end. Leave me some comments, like, subscribe, I'm trying to grow my channel. And I will talk with you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.